Hi, Josh Apple here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at our top deck at Virginia Golf Center and I'm going to talk about what information you need to gather when you're on the golf course before you hit a golf shot. I've given you a lot of tips so far in these videos on how to swing a golf club, but it's also important to know which club to pick. And especially this time of year, as it gets colder and windier, it gets more difficult to pick the right club. Before I hit a golf shot, there's five different pieces of information that I gather. Number one is the wind and temperature, so you could call that climate. Number two would be the elevation, whether it's uphill or downhill. Three would be the lie, which is how the ball is sitting. Four would be your stance, which is how your feet are standing relative to the golf ball. And number five would be obviously the distance, which is the most common one that everyone seems to do, and maybe they skip the other four. So number one on the list was wind and temperature, which is our climate. In terms of wind, about 10 miles an hour equates to about one club. So if it's 10 miles an hour in your face, you want to grab an extra club. And then in terms of temperature, every roughly 20 degrees colder also changes the club by about one. So if it's 20 degrees colder than you're used to playing and you have a 10 mile an hour wind, that's already two clubs different than what you normally might hit. So next piece that I mentioned was elevation. And about 10 yards again is going to be about one club. So now if you throw in 10 yards uphill, you're hitting an extra club, 10 yards downhill, one less club. Uh, and then you go into how the ball is sitting, which is your lie. And if the ball is sitting up, it might go further. If the ball is sitting down, it might go shorter. If it's neutral, you don't need to change anything. And then in terms of your stance, whether the ball is above your feet, below your feet, all these things are factors to how far the ball will go and which club you're going to pick. Identifying lies and stances is something you can actually practice on the driving range. Obviously, if you're hitting off a mat, your lie is flat, stance is flat, there's no issues there. But if you are hitting off turf and you can put yourself in divots, you can put yourself on top of the grass, sitting down the grass, give yourself different lies and stances and play around with seeing how far the ball goes, whether it goes shorter or further in different situations. And then once you get that same lie or stance on the golf course, you'll be better at identifying which club you actually need to pick in that situation. And then lastly, of course, is your distance. Most everyone is comfortable gathering distance, especially now with rangefinders but it's the other four that people often skip. And after you gather information, it's important to take the next step, which is to make a decision, and make a committed decision. You need to go through those steps that I mentioned earlier, pick the right club, and center the golf ball with commitment. If you're facing any doubt, if you're unsure of yourself, it's probably not gonna be a very good shot. The more you practice those five steps before you hit a shot, the more comfortable you will be. And eventually you'll stand over every golf shot nice and committed without any doubt, and that leads to good golf shots. I'm Josh Apple, and that's your tip of the day.